Hi, this is Manmad. Welcome back to my channel. A seafood, especially shrimps are high moisture containing foods. About 76 to 78 percent of their meat contains moisture. During uh, holding or uh, during cold storage, the shrimps are susceptible to freezer burn or dehydration by many factors like temperature abuse. Or if you are maintaining the temperature in a proper way, because nowadays most of the cold storages are in advanced technology and uh, heat gas defrosting systems and more than one evaporator uh, coil units they might have it so no chances of temperature abuse even if you are maintaining the temperature at 18 minus 18 to 22 degrees centigrade but if the humidity relative humidity drops then the product also will be susceptible for freezer burn relative humidity is plays a crucial role if you are maintaining temperature well defrosting with hot gas mechanism and you have alternative uh, cooling units so one unit defrosting and another unit you can operate and hardly the defrosting also will take 10 minutes or 15 minutes the advanced technology even then if the relative humidity drops then it will extract moisture from the frozen products frozen shrimps or seafood how the relative humidity will extract the moisture how the dropping of relative humidity will extract the moisture from the frozen products in the holding freezer we will discuss in details and sometimes if you are maintaining the temperature and maintaining the relative humidity also proper even then the velocity also velocity means the speed the velocity of the air circulation the fan speed also rpm also based on the dia are based on the uh, uh, space based on the designing of the cold storage we have to uh, maintain the proper velocity of the circulation of the unit more defrost cycles also will leads to the retards the shelf life of the products we are freezing the product at minus 40 degrees centigrade which attains the core temperature minus 20 or minus 19 21 like that minus 18 degrees centigrade core temperature and minus 40 degrees centigrade freezing point as per the validation study we can hold the product in a cold storage for 24 months but unfortunately the shelf life of the product is retards reduced to one year how to prevent the freezer burn during uh, cold storage of the frozen seafood now let us start the video holding freezer a cold storage can often lead to problems because humidity present in the air makes ice and condensation form resulting in loads of bothersome practical difficulties and revenue nibbling costs most companies that operate refrigerated or freezer storage facilities have learned to tackle the normal day-to-day -day ice and condensation problems have invested in ways to keep them minimum problem is that most of the food business operators dealing with the symptoms not handling on the root cause because simply the condensation or ice forming on the uh, cooling units cooling surfaces or walls of the cold storage or floor of the cold storage they are defrosting and they are cleaning and again they are running the refrigeration unit they are not focusing on the control measures i mean they are not conducting the root cause they are not taking the preventive measures for reoccurrence of the frequent formation of ice on cooling coils uncontrolled humidity can have a big effects on wide range of operating costs ice forming on fixtures and equipment blockaging evaporators mist forming in the air these are all due to slow opening doors ineffective defrosting system etc low evaporation temperature ultimately and multiple defrosting cycles heavy load on the refrigeration system etc due to this melting ice and formation of ice barcoding also we cannot detect properly and the packaging material also gets damaged 
So lot of disadvantages also there. Finally, it leads to non-productive workflow. Look at this diagram, a uh, cold storage. This is the door. If you open the door, the air which is outside, outside air, the outside air, warm air. Warm air contains more moisture than cold air. Then the outside air will enter inside the cold storage. It will move upward outside air because of dry condition less weight the warm air is less weight than cool air so it will always move in a upward so from the top of the door the warm air will enter and will once the warm air enters and touches the ceilings or cooling surfaces then inside the chilled circulate air also there so the dew point will come down so dew point means it's it's, it facilitates the condensation, nothing but the condensation. So, once the warm air contains more moisture enter inside the cold storage, and the dew point will occur. So, the moisture dripping condensation and fall on the floor and fall on the packaging material and on the cooling coils also, the condensation will form. Once the water droplets fall on the cooling coil, then it will form as a ice crystals. Accumulation of ice crystals in cooling coil will touch the temperature. If cold storage is running minus 18 degree to centigrade temperature, if the cooling coils transformation occurred, then the fans are circulating the air, the temperature will come down drastically. And this is of the cold air. So cold air always coming the down and coming out. So at the opening door of the cold storage, you can found the fog or mist. So this is how the cold store mechanism. And the blower's velocity at the speed of the air also will influence the dehydration of the product. The velocity also should match the dia of the cold storage, design of the cold storage. How the relative humidity will drop? For example, if your cold storage is, is maintaining at or 60 or 50 relative humidity so if the warm air contains 80 or 90 relative humidity then frequent opening of the doors the warm air enters inside the cold storage and the dew point will occur condensation on the cold storage, uh, cooling surfaces and packaging material and floors also condensation will occur so the moisture which is present inside the cold storage and outside the warm air also will condensate and fall on the cooling surface. Automatically, the relative humidity will drop from 50 60 to the relative humidity will drop to 20 or 30. If the relative humidity decreases in cold storages, then automatically it will extract the moisture from the frozen products. This is how the Relative humidity will influence the shelf life of the product. Even though if you are maintaining the temperature at minus 18 or 22 degrees centigrade, relative humidity fails to maintain in a proper, your product also susceptible to freezer burn or dehydration. As per the research study, if your cold storage door height is 3 meters and width will be 2 meters, in a one hour time period, if you open the door 10 times, each time door opening is 10 seconds, for example, then 10 times means 1 hour 40 seconds you have opened the door. So, this 1 hour 40 seconds if you open the door, then inside the cold store temperature is minus 18 degree centigrade and dew point also minus 20 degree centigrade and outside the anteroom temperature is plus 8 degree centigrade, for example. And the relative humidity outside the anteroom is 80 percent. Then you keep on opening the door 10 times per hour, each time 10 seconds. Then the warm air will enter inside the cold storage, which contains moisture of 2 and of kg. The warm air, I mean the ice formation will occur in the cold storage 2 and of kg per hour. In a 24 hours, about 30 kg of ice formation will occur inside the cold storages on cooling surfaces and on ceiling and on the floor also ice formation 
will occur to avoid such kind of uh, incidents so th the door opening time also we have to reduce so moisture laden air uh, come in contact with the cold surfaces a condenser or evaporator coil so ice formation will occur so more defrosting cycles will leads to product shelf life i mean product dehydration so that's what we have to reduce the defrost cycles so proper designing of the cold storage and velocity of the air circulation inside the cold storage should match with the design of the cold storage and the controlling of the relative humidity means door opening times we if we can reduce and door gaps we can arrest a number of door opening times and the warm air entry also if we can minimize then the product shelf life also we can extend and reducing the running hours of refrigeration units will give us good results that's all about the video friends those who have not watched in my part 1 part 2 part 3 video i have explained in details what is relative humidity absolute humidity and what is a desiccation what is a sublimation what is the dew point so each and every video i have clearly explained please watch those videos thank you for watching the video